The US Air Force says the sixth generation stealth fighter will operate up to five reconnaissance and attack drones. The Air Force may be building several manned variants of the emerging sixth generation stealth fighter. The Air Force may be building several manned variants of the newly emerging sixth generation air dominance stealth fighter and a small family of wingman type support drones as the new ones. The forefront, but most of the secret aircraft program soared into the future. Delivery timelines and no history are most likely, but one can probably expect the development of a new aircraft, which has already been demonstrated to take to the skies. Described as a system family, NGAD will consist of a manned stealth combat platform and a small number of multi-mission operated drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, that will test opposing defenses, high-risk areas with forward surveillance and delivery of weapons, with humans on board. Manned aircraft perform command and control. Collaborative Combat Aircraft's Air Force Acquisition Executive said that the MANGAD platform itself is likely to emerge by the end of the decade and CCA will emerge much sooner as a short-term item. The industry is already investing significantly with their R&D and preparing for the competition to build a new family of drones. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall said the new manned sixth-generation stealth fighter will likely control as many as five drones CCA, at any one time from the cockpit. You can think of him as a quarterback or a play caller for that formation. And you can equip that swarm of assassins with a variety of mission and sensor systems, including any weapon, and you can use them very creatively and create very difficult problems for the enemy. The ability for a manned fighter such as a fifth-generation stealth fighter to control the flight path and sensor payload of multiple drones is emerging rapidly if it is not already here, and the concept is to operate a paradigm-shifting next-generation stealth fighter at speed, stealth, maneuverability and unprecedented lethality capable of expanding and expanding its combat functions by controlling multiple drones. Hunter explained that the NGAD program will adapt and develop in the coming years depending on the development of needs and changing threats. Will there be a manned platform in two variants? We definitely want to think about it. The first task is to deliver a manned platform. We will evaluate along the way as there are additional approaches to possible variants, said Hunter. Regarding the question of variants, one possibility under discussion is the prospect of a larger and longer range variant for the Pacific that will need to travel great distances across oceans for miles without refueling, yet still operate at speed, stealth, and sufficient agility to win in a potential major power engagement. While the Pacific is a vast and seemingly boundless expanse of oceans, territories and islands, the European continent is much smaller, denser, and easily accessible in many countries. In addition, Europe's vast amount of landmass means that aircraft can easily stop and refuel or refuel in flight over permissive allied and non-combat areas. These tactical circumstances account for the slightly different operational requirements required for the sixth generation aircraft to operate in Europe and not in the Pacific, thus the possibility of two variants. Given that the NGAD program is described as a system family, it seems reasonable to develop and include the possibility to build different variants for each theater. Next Generation Air Domination Kendall says that the manned variant of the emerging sixth-generation next-generation air dominance system family is likely to control as many as five drones at a time, apparently envisioning an operational scenario that would introduce new tactics, vastly expanding the scope of the mission. Stealth fighter jets and activate scattered, but networked weapons and surveillance nodes to increase attack and reconnaissance options. Many details and exact configurations of this small family of manned and unmanned platforms are not available for security reasons or are still evolving. Or both. 
The unmanned systems under construction to support the sixth generation manned aircraft are likely to emerge in the nearer future than the operational manned variant. Of course the requirements for the unmanned system, called collaborative combat aircraft, are still changing, but Air Force acquisition executive Andrew Hunter told reporters that drones are being built around key operational needs. We need aircraft that can conduct operations in denied airspace and ensure we have the capability to establish freedom of maneuver. We have had a successful unmanned platform for decades. It is very challenging to have a platform that can operate in rigid